Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I am Stevie B. I will be your host this evening. Today I want to talk to you about how to get skills for less money. How to get cheaper skills, how to get more of them, and how increasing your spend can increase your skills while decreasing your cost of skills. So this brings us to one of my favorite theories about the game. It's not even a theory, it's pretty much a well-known point but it brings me to a general overall theory about Entropia Universe. So guys, I am pretty solidly convinced that whenever they sat down and made Entropia Universe, what they wanted to make was an online casino. But they knew that an online casino would never fly given the laws and regulations that they had. Now, this has been something that's been debated in the courts, it's been debated by players, but let me explain my reasoning. If you've ever been into a real life casino, when you go into a play game, doesn't matter what game it is, doesn't matter if it's blackjack, slots, whatever, you win or lose an individual game, right? So that's one thing that happens in a casino. But another thing that happens if you've spent any amount of time in a casino is almost every casino has a comp system. So a comp system does not depend on win or lose. It's rather unique. Unlike in a game, which does depend on win or lose, a comp system simply depends on spend. So this is what determines how many bottles of champagne the casino gives you. It's what determines if you qualify for free rooms, discounted flights, all that good stuff. And it's not decided by win or lose, but by spend. So why is that? Well, it's because the house has the advantage. In a typical casino, the house edge runs anywhere from 2.5% up to 35 to 37% on a game like Kino. They know as long as you're spending money, they have an edge. That means you might be up a little bit, you might be down a little bit, but as long as you'll keep playing, what will eventually happen is their edge will come out and they will end up winning. You will end up losing if you stay in the casino long enough. This is pretty much a universal truth. The only time this isn't true is if, let's say, you're a professional blackjack player and you're actually able to reverse the statistics of the game and give yourself an edge, even something as little as 2%, which is what most professional blackjack players work off, is a 1.5 to 2% edge, then the more you play, the more you're going to win. Uh, that's why they say that when you're playing blackjack, if you have a 1 to 2% edge, you want to increase your hands per hour that are being dealt, because the more hands you play, the more money you can spend, the more you're eventually going to win, right? So let's look at that in the context of Entropia Universe. So in Entropia Universe, the skill awards are very, very similar to a comp system in a casino. They are based not on win or lose, but spend. If you'll notice, as I kill a creature, I might get back my cost of kill, I might get back a little bit less, I might get back more. It just depends. It's almost like killing the creature is the game. But the skills that I get are not dependent on win or lose. It's not dependent on the game itself. My skills that I get awarded are actually dependent simply on my spend. As long as I continue to spend, I will continue to get points proportionally. So this is why it can seem like it takes absolutely forever to level up. Once you get used to a certain amount of spend, you're going to be getting points that are awarded proportionally to that. Since each point is worth more than the point before it and less than the point after it, the longer you stay at a certain level, it's going to seem like you're gaining points slower and slower and slower. You're going to be. You're getting the same TT value, but each point is worth more than the one that came before it. So the longer you stay at that level, the longer you stay spending the same amount, hunting the same mob with the same setup, then the fewer and fewer points you'll get. The TT value is the same. You're getting the same amount of quote-unquote comp rewards because it's based off spend, but the number of points in and of themselves start to decrease. So how do we use this to our advantage? Well, knowing this, we can actually kind of rig the system in our favor a little bit. Um, if I want to move on to the next higher weapon, then what I can do is I can know that if I somehow increase the amount I'm spending, I'm going to get skills. So give you an example. 
um, whenever I'm talking about rifle, right? So back at Halloween, which was just a couple weeks ago, I wanted to use a rifle which would have required me to go up two levels. Uh, I believe I was at level 28 and I needed to get to level 30. So what I did is I switched from my pistol that I'd been using and I went out and started using the LR25, the Armatrix LR25. It was a little bit bigger than the rifle I was previously used to. Well, because it was bigger than the rifle I was previously used to, it costs more to operate. It costs more in decay, it costs more in ammo cost. That increased my spend. When I increased my spend, what magically happened is all of a sudden I started gaining more points than typical. I kind of got out of that grind where you're just grinding away, grinding away, grinding away, and it seems like not moving. And I was actually moving pretty quickly. So it was within a matter of hours, I made it from level 28 to 29. And then by the end of the day, I was actually level 30. Um, this is pretty much universally true. If you can find a weapon or find a tool or find a fap or whatever it may be, that is going to increase your decay, increase your ammo burn, then you're going to increase the amount of skills per hour you get. Now, normally, whenever you increase your decay, increase your ammo burn, increase your cost per hour, you would think that you're increasing your losses per hour. That's not necessarily true. With weapons, I'm looking at what I'm cycling, but I'm also looking at, am I staying efficient? Am I still using extremely high efficiency weapons? Am I cycling more ped per hour, but doing it in such a way that allows me to have even more profit per hour or fewer losses per hour? If I'm hunting for markup, mining for markup, doing all those things that I should be doing on a regular basis, then increasing my spend is actually going to help me because the more I cycle, then the more loot I get. If that loot has markup, and if I then sell it to other players for markup, I'm actually not just increasing my spend per hour and increasing my skills per hour, I'm also increasing my potential profit per hour. So in the example that I used for Halloween, what I did was since I had a rifle that used more ammo, since I had a rifle that did more decay, that increased my spend per hour, which increased my skills, but I also moved over to a mob that I knew would drop the kind of materials and the kind of markup on those materials that I wanted, that I would then have even more materials and components and loot per hour with greater markup per hour to sell to other players. What's all that mean? It means that I made it from level 28 to level 30 in a day. Yes, I increased the amount of money I was cycling through in an hour, but I also was able to increase the amount of loot and the type of loot that I was getting, and that loot had enough of a markup on it that selling it to players I even made more that day than I normally would have sticking with my normal grind. So it was a win-win-win all the way around. When you understand that skills per hour is essentially based on uh, spin per hour, just like a casino comp system, it really allows you to take advantage of the system in ways that other players cannot. Now, I'm not exactly practicing what I preach at the moment as I'm sitting here fapping and hunting these Argos while I make the video. Uh, this is just kind of something as a visual to kind of keep you guys from having to sit here and just listen to me ramble on. Uh, but I want you guys to notice if you guys can see, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but if you can see my skills down in the bottom left hand side of the screen, if you'll notice, I'm actually getting a pretty decent amount of skills right now. So what I've been doing is I've been shifting my focus from pistol and rifle over to melee. The reason being is ideally I want to keep melee, mind force, and my ranged weapons all kind of in line. And my rifle and my pistol kind of got away from my melee. I've also decided I want to try and increase my strength uh, because as many of you know I recently took up mining as a little side profession and I need more strength for that. So as you will notice, uh, great, just went up a rank and challenge, super. The reason I'm getting some of these points at the rate I'm getting them at, if you guys can actually see my scroll screen right here, is if you watch my other videos, I had recently been using the sword from the trade terminal. Well, the first one or two I burned through, I got pretty decent skills, but then just as I'm talking about here, all of a sudden the skills just got dangerously slow. 
and it was just very, very grindy. Very, very grindy. I called it trade terminal hell. Now that I've moved on to the Armatrix, uh, this is the long sword, so I guess the long blade 10. Not only do I have decay, but I also have an associated ammo cost. What that means is that every time I swing this sword, I'm burning at about a thousand ammo in addition to the decay. So I'm actually getting more points now toward my long blade profession and my melee professions than I probably did in the last video. In fact, I guarantee if you went back and watched them and went through the, the skill awards that I got in each video, I'm getting far more right now. Uh, I seem to be getting them several times per kill. Well, that's because this weapon has greater decay. It, maybe not greater decay, but it does have a decay cost. But whenever I add in the ammo cost, my total spin, my total cost of use, is greater than what I was using with the Trade Terminal Sword. So therefore, since I've increased my spin, I am increasing my skills. So yes, I can literally guarantee you just by looking for the past 30 seconds at the skill gains, I'm getting far superior skill awards right now than I did in that last Melee video I made. That's simply because I've increased my spin per hour. That's the only reason I'm getting more skills. So notice also though that I did move on from the mob that I was hunting to level 5 Argonauts. Why did I do that? Because since I'm using a bigger weapon, since I'm cycling more ped per hour, I want to hunt something that is going to have a little bit better loot, a little bit better markup. Uh, I kind of know what's going to drop. I can kind of have a feeling, depending on hunt length, for about what kind of loot composition I should end up with. So therefore, since I decided to increase that spin per hour to get those melee skills up, I want to be sure that the loot that I get is uh, kind of in line with that. That way, whenever I go to sell for markup, I'm actually making more money per hour also, right? So I thought there for a second I wasn't actually practicing what I preach. I wasn't really paying attention, but as it turns out, this was actually almost perfect for making this video because it's the perfect illustration. I wish I had the skill gains from the first Melee video I made for you guys to go back and compare to this, but I guarantee you these gains are far superior because I've increased my spend. So this will become important later on whenever I make another video I'm planning. I had actually already recorded it, but apparently it screwed up about halfway through, so I will not be able to upload it today. I will try and re-record it this week, and I will try and get it for you guys next weekend. It's a very, very important video. I'll give you a hint. It's about repairing on a mothership, and how you can get not only crafting skills, but low-cost and even free defense skills while doing repair runs on a mothership great video i'm sorry it messed up but i will get it re-recorded for you guys so guys just keep that in mind as you're out there skilling it's one of those little nuggets that might be of use to you guys especially later on in the game uh, it might help you guys understand why the game can get so grindy at times but at the end of the day skill awards are related more closely to spend than they are to win or lose so regardless of your outcome with an individual mob, regardless of your outcome with an individual crafting run or an individual mining run, remember that the spend, the amount that you're cycling, as they say, is what's going to really determine the skill awards that you get. So guys, I hope this has been informative. I hope it's been beneficial. I hope it helps the game be a little bit less grindy. Uh, I might make another video that elaborates on this subject later on, but for right now I'm just going to leave it right there, let everybody kind of digest that thought process for a little bit. It's one of those things I want to make a building block for future videos. So guys, let me know in the comments uh, kind of if this is something that, you, that you've picked up on naturally, if the game has kind of got grindy at a certain point whenever you're using certain weapons and certain setups for certain things, and what you did to fix it. Also, let me know what it is you're currently skilling. Are you currently skilling rifle? Are you currently skilling pistol? Uh, melee, mind force, whatever it is you're currently skilling, even crafting or mining also. Be sure to let me know that in the comments also, guys. Be sure and subscribe. We have some great videos planned for the next uh, week or two. Also, we have Christmas Mayhem uh, or Merry Mayhem, which should be coming up in probably the next week. It will probably start next weekend. If you're in-game, feel free to drop me a line. If it is during Mayhem, there's a good chance I will not respond right away. 
because I do compete very extensively in Mayhem, but I will definitely get back with you. That's what I'm here, guys, is for you guys to be able to reach out and get a hold of me. I want you guys to have the best information because I want you to be able to learn and earn. So from all of us here at EarnPed.com, we hope that you kick off the holiday season with an exceptional amount of knowledge moving into how skills are kind of awarded, and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining us. Be sure and learn and earn.